Today, a new academic approach expands public education opportunities for Indiana's best and brightest sons and daughters. At its core is the teaching of a select group of gifted and talented high school students. Beyond that core are ideas that are shaping Hoosier education statewide. It is the Indiana Academy for Science, Mathematics, and Humanities. Okay, because when it's going down, the molecule... The Indiana Academy for Science, Mathematics, and Humanities is not a school confined to heightening the educational achievements of just a few. It is a multifaceted program of educational outreach designed to boost the teaching programs of all Indiana schools. The idea of a school for gifted students is not new. Schools for gifted students have existed many years. The Indiana Academy is built on the success of similar publicly funded programs created in a handful of states dotting the nation. I originally carried the Academy Bill, which is probably early in the 1980s. And uh, I think that from the very beginning, there was a, a core of legislators who, who saw the importance of this, many of them uh, involved in education, like me. And it, it took a while to, to get the, the concept accepted, particularly by uh, leadership, uh, basically I think because of financial reasons. But I think eventually as, as uh, leadership and, and the legislature saw what other states were doing and the advantages that could come out of the academy, then they were won over and, and the bill was finally passed. The academy opened its doors in fall of 1990 to a class of 160 juniors. By the following academic year, the 300 student optimum enrollment had been reached. Students are recruited vigorously from throughout Indiana. The class body, whose average SAT score is well over 1100, represent young men and women from both rural areas and urban centers who reflect the ethnic diversity of the state. They are students who desire a greater academic challenge and who can commit themselves to two years in a residential high school experience. Back home, uh, it wasn't enough of a challenge really. Uh, the classes I was taking were really interesting, and, but they just didn't quite go up to the level that I wanted. I didn't have enough room to advance. Uh, I just wanted more of a challenge. It was not difficult for me to choose to go to the academy. Um, I felt like I had explored as much of the potential at my old high school as possible and I wanted something more, something to challenge me even more and I got that at the Academy. The Indiana Academy is located on the campus of Ball State University. The collegiate setting provides students access to Ball State's 1.8 million volume research library, a mainframe computer network, classroom video technology and a wide range of arts and cultural entertainment. The heart of the Academy's mission is in providing educational experiences to Indiana's best and brightest students. And there is a harmonious balance of academic programs with residential life programs. Choosing to go to the Academy was probably the best decision I ever made. Um, I chose to go there because of the non-competitive learning environment. Um, at a normal high school, you, you feel a lot of competition to be the best in the class and that sort of thing. And at the academy, I didn't feel that. It was um, a lot more of a cooperative learning experience. Um, the kids and the, te and the teachers, everyone encouraged you to do the best that you possibly could, to learn the most that you could. And everyone was there to stand by you and, and to help you explore your ideas and your interests to the fullest, uh, to the fullest potential. I like the chance to be able to be with other people who have similar talents, similar tastes. Uh, we can sit around and we'll have discussions from anything from the color of, uh, of a certain vegetable to uh, uh, anything that we want to talk about. We can talk about uh, Aristotle and everybody will be interested and everybody will get into it and we'll get into a reasonable discussion. It is a place where critical thinking, independent research, inquiry and discovery are stressed. Oh, it's a lot harder. You have to work up here. I mean, you can't make it just cruising through. There's an incredible amount of, it, of interaction between teachers and students. Um, all the teachers have um, 
evening office hours which the students can go in and discuss problems they're having in class, problems they're having on homework, or even just personal problems or interests. Um, a lot of teachers take on, especially the science teachers, take on special projects with the students and work on special experiments and help them get scholarships and that sort of thing. So there's a lot of interaction between teachers and students. I have experienced a lot more individuality in teaching and a lot better teaching here. Um, it's, it's met my expectations and I, I'm happy to say that. So I, I've learned a lot from my teachers and that's not always just what's in the textbook. I think that uh, when we're talking about public education in Indiana, uh, we need to speak about the highest level of education and, and the highest quality of education and that that is one of the elements of the overall package. Certainly not the only element and not, not necessarily the preeminent element, but one of the key elements is the high level quality education for very strong, talented students in, in uh, math, science, humanities, all of the variations and, and opportunities that they get at the Indiana Academy. The Academy serves as the cornerstone for educating the whole person. Gifted students often have the greatest potential for leadership, and those in the Indiana Academy must provide 50 hours of community service before graduation. Academic year and May term apprenticeship programs in businesses and organizations provide mentors who can impart real world experiences. The Indiana Academy apprenticeship program gave me the opportunity to work with doctors and nurses on a day-to-day -day basis and it also pushed me over the edge to choose pre-med as my college major in the university I attend. Diverse, hands-on opportunities help form the very fiber of those who choose to attend the Indiana Academy. Like me, my parents feel that it was the best decision that I ever made and that they allowed me to make. Um, they feel that I am a much more independent person. My personal growth has been um, extremely great. Um, I'm a much more secure person in confidence and my intellectual ability is, is greater than would have been if I would have graduated from my old high school. College credit can be earned in some of the more advanced courses taught at the Academy and broadcast to remote sites. The two years of rigorous study empower students to reach the edge of their greatest potential and the hard work pays off. More than one million dollars in scholarships and awards were offered the Indiana Academy's first graduating class. Although some of these graduates now pursue degrees at several top-ranked research institutions outside the state, around 60 percent are taking advantage of the caliber of higher education provided by Indiana's colleges and universities. Preparing a select group of bright Indiana individuals to challenge the world is within the mission of the Indiana Academy. But the greatest benefit to Hoosiers as a whole is the reinforcement of Indiana's public school system. I think when we were legislating the authorization of the Indiana Academy and later when we uh, worked on the funding level of it, we tended to think of the student body at the Indiana Academy. And that's certainly important. But I, I think what we have discovered since then is the impact it has on all the other existing school systems, the outreach opportunities for teachers, for administrators, for students at, uh, back at the home schools, uh, just a lot of spin-offs and a lot of outreach that, that I, I mean, kind of talked about when we were arguing for authorizing the academy, but I can remember thinking, well, I'm being pretty theoretical here, you know, this, this may be a stretch. It turned out not to be a stretch. It may be uh, one of the most important elements of the Indiana Academy. Through the Indiana Academy's outreach programs, school systems and corporations can tap available resources to support their curricula and enhance the teaching quality of their teachers. The Indiana Academy uh, serves as a model. It serves as a, a model of excellence, uh, a level to uh, strive for in terms of public education in Indiana. Uh, more practically speaking, it serves as a laboratory, a testing ground for educational ideas uh, in this state. 
uh, ideas that uh, are tested and proven at the Indiana Academy can be transferred to other uh, certainly high schools and probably other levels of, of public schools in Indiana. Academy courses such as Advanced Placement Calculus, Chinese, and Human Genetics are piped directly into high school classrooms using the Indiana Higher Education Telecommunications System. The broadcast of these interactive television courses help round out curricula in many Hoosier high schools. I think the important thing here at Hamilton High School is that we have had an opportunity through the Academy to have some advanced level courses that we would not have ever been able to provide for our students. I think it's probably very true, whether it's in a school our size, which is small, or whether it's in a, even in a medium-sized school or a large-sized school. For example, we have uh, on staff a very competent, capable physics instructor. But we chose to add the physics through the academy because of all of the added things, the experiments, the equipment that was able to be used Televised Indiana Academy courses are conducted in special studio classrooms at Ball State University. Students viewing these live broadcast courses at remote high school sites participate by telephone in class discussions. Now as the air warms back up and expands. It's been a, it's been a wonderful experience. Besides that, our, I think our students have learned a great amount uh, from just the interaction that they've had with the instructors. Uh, with, with the process through the television networking system that they're going to need to get used to probably as they advance on down through their careers. Uh, and so it's just been a, it's been a marvelous experience from that, from that standpoint. But I think most importantly probably is that our students and this school uh, can put together a curriculum that is second to none. And, and so that's very important to us because we feel very obligated to our students we feel very obligated to this community. This has given us that opportunity to be able to do that. Well, at Shenandoah High School, our physics teacher had retired the year before, so the only way I could get physics was through the Indiana Academy's televised classes. And now at Ball State as a biology major, I'm really glad I had all the different science backgrounds because it's going to help me complete my major. The Academy's Outstanding Educator Fellowship places experienced high school teachers directly into the Academy classroom where they teach gifted students for a year and conduct topical research for self-improvement. While I was at the Academy, I worked on a research project in which I researched the topic multicultural education and came back to my corporation with this project and have since now been appointed the new cultural diversity coordinator and I am attempting to infuse into our already established curriculum a cultural diversity perspective. The Outstanding Educator Fellowship and the Summer Fellowship Program in Technology Training help teachers readdress their skills and become more productive assets to their schools. My high school gained a rejuvenated teacher. I have renewed enthusiasm. I have renewed energy. Um, I'm ready to uh, teach now for another 10 years uh, rather than um, being tired and worn out and, and somewhat burned out. Uh, I now have a new perspective. Therefore, for students in any Hoosier classroom, the Indiana Academy can provide a direct benefit. I think the greatest impact is, is the setting of high standards, that that is, as all of the studies have said, a tremendously important part of achieving an education and, and something that we've been weak in in this country in the past. And I think that the Academy can be a symbol of that, a symbol that hopefully can, can spread throughout the state and that, and that ideally all our kids in the future will have this set of expectations that, that are the best that are of world quality. The Indiana Academy for Science, Mathematics, and Humanities has been nicknamed the Academy Without Walls because of its broad use of resources beyond its residential environment. On the other hand, statewide outreach programs demonstrate that there are no walls to limit the impact this school can have on the young minds of Indiana's children.